So we've arrived here at the Canyonlands National Park. I've been up the road to the Canyonlands several times, but I've never actually come into the park itself. It's kind of a drive to get up here. Um, a lot of people just sort of come to the first place, which is the visitor center, uh, the Island in the Sky Visitor Center. And that's like right when you get past the entrance. So I don't really see the point of that. I'm going to go at least up to the Grand Viewpoint, which is 12 miles from the entrance. But right here, we're at Schaefer Canyon Lookout Trail. So, let's check this out. Now, most people say that this is better than the Grand Canyon. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, my goodness. So, I guess that's where this trail leads to the lookout point. Now, this trail is. 0.1 miles and unlike arches I think this one is going to be a little bit easier Everybody. this place has a super zen feeling to it like it's very calm and like easy. It feels super easy going. To me, it looks a lot like Dead Horse Point. Um, that's probably because Dead Horse Point is literally like over there somewhere. Yeah, so super easy trail, really nice. Oh my god. This is amazing. <laughs> oh wow. Look at those people over there. Is that where we're gonna go? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll see. How beautiful that is over there. Look at that. Oh my god. I can hardly wait to get over there, dude. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. the shoes I'm wearing. I do not come equipped for hiking, that's for sure. Wow, look at this. That's so gorgeous. Please tell me I've come the right way to get over there because... Okay. I think I'm good. Oh, wow. Just look at this. Look how easy this trail is. That's my kind of shit right there. Look at that guy. Wow. Look at this. Whoa. Wow.
crowded or anything. Check it. I want to pose with this tree. Get a picture with my friend over here. This tree is like super calling to me, dude. Look at this. Look at this righteous tree, dude. Can you see it? I'm gonna go over here and get a shot with this tree. See this tree, dude. Look at this. Look at that. That's so weird. Can you see like the texture of it? It's like kind of hard. is like my friend. Wow. This is freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. Check this out, dude. Look at that. Like right there, like it looks like it's about to fall. <laughs> oh my god. Holy freaking man. I'm so glad that I extended this tripod because I don't want to go too close to this. Look at that. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Whoa. That is crazy. Look at that dirt road going through there. I guess that's a dirt road, yeah. Wow. Oh my god. And that's like a dirt road too over there. <laughs> no, it's not the same dirt road. Look, there's somebody on a dirt bike way, way down there. Holy shit. Yeah, that guy's having a good time, dude. Oh my god. Standing at the edge of a canyon. Look at this. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Whoa, dude. I mean, one wrong step and you are like... Okay, let's just go over this way. Oh, look. Somebody made a rock pile. Super duper magical, dude. Yes. Pinion and juniper. So maybe that's like what that tree is. Yes. I 
think that's what that is. That's what these are, I think. Look at this over here. Oh my gosh, are those berries? Oh my god, those are like berries or something. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god. Wow. Look how awesome that is. Look. Look at this, dude. Wow. Oh my god. Well, that was an experience. Few rocks in my shoe. Look at that. Wow. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Holy mackerel, dude. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at the face on that. That's amazing, dude. That's freaking awesome. Oh, look at this. Could this be right here specifically? I have to take a picture of this. Oh my god. Like, look at them over there. They give you the impression that, like, you can go over there or something. You totally can't. I mean, unless you, like, walk around that or something. You're gonna break up their little lovers. Get together. <clears throat> Look at him. He's just like, yeah, I got this. Dude, I would freaking never go on that road. Not in a million billion years. Let's put our feet on it. Wow. Oh my god. You gotta come here like just to do that. You know what I mean? Like you come here for no other reason. Come here just to put your feet on it.
I'm going to hang out and eat some beef stick at the edge of a canyon. I'm like safely positioned. Listen, I'm in no danger right now. freaking amazing or what? at the Grand View scenic overlook and honestly this promises to be incredibly gorgeous um, I probably will go to the Grand Canyon but honestly I mean I agree with all the people who say that this is like better than the Grand Canyon I don't know what it is it's just so great so let's check it out I just love the trees around here. Wow, this is so perfect. Look how perfect this is. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, wow. <sighs> Look at those things over there. Well, I can't freaking see anything, so I don't know if I'm pointing at the right thing, but these little spire things, those are amazing. I mean, they're really everywhere down there. Wow, this is the grand view, that's for sure. Holy mackerel. It's so calm and peaceful. Just silent. My water just I don't go anywhere without that water, honey. Not anywhere. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at that. Oh my god. Well, you know what it's time for. More jerky at the edge of a canyon. <laughs> One gust of wind and this thing is gonna fall. So hopefully I can catch it if it does. Anyway, you know me. Gotta have that beef stick.
is epic. This is seriously, seriously epic. See tigers, dude. Amazing view. And there's hikers way over there. So I guess that's where they're going. Looks like you could just go and just like walk all around there. Looks kind of great. Looks like they've got like stairs and stuff. So I think it would be safe to go down there. Yeah, that's steps. Makes it super easy. They mean for people like me to come down here. <laughs> This is great. Wow. Canyon lands worth the drive much? To be honest, like if you live in the US, any one of these national parks out here in Moab is more than worth your time in coming here because the serenity of it, especially if you come in sort of like an off season, the serenity of it is just unmatched. I mean, yeah, you can hear people talking around you, but just the feeling of calmness, of these canyons and stuff, it's just amazing. Okay, time to walk without some shoes for a little bit. Wow, oh my god. Holy freaking mackerel, man. Holy mackerel, dude. That down there is amazing. Makes me not sad I didn't go to Bryce. Oh, wow. Ooh, the rocks in the shade are super cold. We need to go over there. We like really need to go over there. Well, even if you did take the geography class, Look how freaking. 
freaking awesome this is. Look how freaking awesome that is. Would you look how awesome that is? Could you imagine if you were just like a little animal? What a sheer, pure, and total haven that would be. Well, like, I mean, honestly, I could fit in there if I worked it right. You could put, like, bedding or something and be cradled by the rock. Probably be way less comfortable than it seems. Look at this. Oh, Let's go touch this rock. these shady little areas. Look at this. Look how awesome this is. Check it out. <gasps> wow. I love you. Okay. Let's go. Over here, I can rocks in my shoes, dude. Okay. I just love those trees. The ones that like don't have anything on them. Let's go touch it. Let's go touch the tree. Let us become one with the tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the little markings in it. Look at the dirt. Look how beautiful the dirt is. It's so beautiful. Oh, my God. Yeah. You need to come here. You need to do this. You just need to come here and do it. Come on. I'm drawn to these cave-like areas. I guess it's because I'm from Kentucky. Land of caves. I legit, this is not a joke want to live in a cave. I do. Hello, Mr. Tree. serenity. It's like you would not believe, dude. It's so inexorably chill. It's a pretty cool rock. I need a drink. Just look at that. These red rocks with just the contrast of the dark mixed in there.
So we're gonna walk over here a little bit more and then we're gonna turn around. So the Canyonlands is a really big, big, big place. Um, I, it's definitely not doable in a one day. I think I read that there are three different parts of the park and they're kind of separate. I don't know if that's true or not, but it was a very big park. Um, but I think that if you come to just this area right here and the ones that I've shown on here, that's good enough. Like, definitely. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more to see, but really, this is just stunning. Look at these nice stairs over here. Oh wow, look at this. Look at that, dude. How cool is that? Check it out. It's like a, like a micro expression of the macro, dude. Look at that. Baller. But I'm glad that I came here at this time of year because the temperature is just not bad at all. Um, if it were hotter, yeah, I would not be able to do this. So, so sensitive to the sun. So I would not be able to come and do this. is pretty much it. This is basically the last bastion of this sort of walking area. And you can continue over that way, but I guess he's not going to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Canyonlands.